Often, when people are overweight, fat and ugly are used as synonyms when people point and stare at them and more often than not make insensitive comments. Furthermore, people make their own assumptions about the overweight person and the relationships they're in, not taking into account that we're all individuals living individual lives. But what if the objective of an overweight woman is not to lose weight? This is the story of Monica Riley. Join us as we discover her unique journey with weight. Monica was a regular girl and a regular teenager. She understood that all people did not have the same build and she was okay with being a little bigger than her friends. After all, she had a very pleasant personality and she loved life. She was comfortable being the big girl. Very few people escape the taunt and humiliation that society directs toward a bigger person. Society wants you to fit into the mold of being as skinny as possible for the media portrays that as ideal and beautiful. Anything outside of that perfect body concept is regarded as ugly. Monica decided to pursue a totally different type of dream. In 2016, at the age of 27, Monica weighed 217 kilograms and was already morbidly obese. Instead of following the rules, she has set herself a goal of becoming the fattest girl alive. Yes, you heard me correctly. This is what her dream was and she was willing to risk it all to achieve that goal. Many people may find her dream strange and even a bit bizarre, but Monica was aiming to weigh around 1,000 pounds or 450 kilograms. This is not the climax of the story. When asked why she wanted to be crowned as the fattest girl alive, she added that her ultimate goal was to become so fat that it will immobilize her completely. At the time, she was modeling clothes for a website that celebrates big beautiful women and one could see that this was good for her self-esteem. Monica was not alone in her strange quest. At her side was her loving and supporting boyfriend Sid Riley. You may wonder how Sid felt about his girlfriend. One may think that he had probably offered his support to help her lose some weight and become more healthy. Of course, he had told her that he loved her just the way she was. But when you hear what Sid had to say, you would be very surprised and shocked. Sid fully supported his girlfriend's dream and goal. In fact, he was actively helping her to achieve her goal. He had never been interested in a supermodel type of girl. Being of average build himself, Sid was so invested in Monica that he was helping her gain as much weight as possible in as short a time as possible. What would it take for a person to become immobile because of excess weight? Monica had done her research and found that if she weighed around 1,000 pounds or 450 kilograms, she might be at that place where she would not be able to move. From there on, she could just continue to gain weight more easily while being bedridden. Finding her goal strange? At that stage of her weight gaining journey, Monica already needed the support of Sid to move between the sofa and the bed. Monica was impatient to become immobile as Sid planned to wait on Monica hand and foot and he was extremely excited to reach that stage of their shared goal. Monica knew that she would feel like a princess being served all day. Surely Monica must have had some life philosophy that pushed her towards this goal. Monica believed in the Egyptian saying, the fatter you are, the more loved you are. So in her quest for love, she wanted to be deeply loved and it seemed like Sid was measuring up to that standard. Of course, there would be people that did not support this pathway Monica was following. Concerned people would caution her to lose weight as overweight people fall into a higher risk category for illness and death. Monica developed a very strong fan and support base. In fact, she had gathered supporters that were raising funds to help her to buy enough food so that she could eat as much as when she wanted to and as much as her body could take in. Having her own YouTube channel, fans follow her progress religiously and that is how she raised funds. In an attempt to help Monica gain weight, Sid has put together a type of feeder that she used to help his girlfriend eat her high-calorie shake of 3,500 calories. He also spent a lot of time preparing her meals. To him, preparing food for his girlfriend and seeing her eat held a special satisfaction. His behavior is known as kind of fat fetish, resulting in sexual arousal associated with feeding another person. Monica's mother was not happy with her immobility quest and told her that she would not help her achieve her goal, but that she would always support and love her. In 2017, Monica was still on her quest to be the fattest woman alive. At her heaviest, she weighed around 700 pounds or 318 kilograms. Slowly but surely, a change occurred in her heart. Monica and Sid wanted to have a baby. 
Although she fell pregnant a few times, it ended up miscarriages. Doctors told her that her excess weight was the main factor for her inability to carry the pregnancy. Monica took the radical decision to start losing weight. The pregnancy that followed that year seemed to go well. Sid was still by Monica's side, supporting her on the new quest to lose weight. Monica's mother was extremely happy that her daughter started losing weight. Just before baby Michelle was born in 2018, Monica weighed 520 pounds or 236 kilograms. By simply eating smaller portions and including healthier foods into her diet, the birth of baby Michelle was not without complications. Monica developed very high blood pressure and the baby had to be delivered by C-section seven weeks prematurely. Because of the premature birth, there were four little holes in her heart and doctors prepared the parents that the baby would need surgery. Fortunately, the holes started closing up by themselves. Only the fourth hole did not completely close up, but it does not bear a risk to baby Michelle's life. She is hitting her developmental milestones despite her premature birth. In hindsight, Monica discovered that she always felt a kind of void in her life. The food and overeating helped to fill that void. She felt in control. Now her goal has completely changed. She wants to become the best mother she can be. Before she had her baby girl, she wanted to have a child but she was willing to get a nanny to take the child outside and it was her plan to raise the child from the bed where she would be lying immobile. After giving birth to Michelle, she wants to be mobile herself and move around as much as possible. Michelle has given Monica a new goal in life. She is still struggling to get up from the ground after she had played with her baby. Her mental state as well as her general health has improved. She wants to go outside for walks in the park. Monica does not want to become a skinny girl. She likes to be chubby, but she has to strike a balance with her weight in order to ensure that she is healthy and that she will be there to see her girl grow up, to go to school and eventually to prom. One thing she knows is that she will never go back to the goal of wanting to be the fattest immobile woman alive. Sid and Monica are a happy couple. People may have judged Sid harshly and they may have made some insensitive comments about his choice to marry a fat and ugly woman. But now, years later, they regret it as the couple's goals have changed for the better. The important thing to remember is that Sid has always supported Monica. He was there to help her achieve her goals. He did not stand in her way and neither did he expect her to lose weight, like so many others would have demanded. They are a happy family that supports one another. There might be some plans for weight loss surgery in her future, but just to get healthy, not skinny. For the surgery, she wants to drop her weight to at least 300 pounds or 136 kilograms, but 250 pounds or 113 kilograms would be more ideal. Her life goal has changed to being a great mom and a good wife. Her chances were slim of ever becoming a mother, but now that she is one, she wants to inspire others. Even when you are the subject of ridicule and taunting by other people, not understanding who you are, you can move on and live a happy life. People often regret the way they treated others when things change so radically. What part of this unusual story did you find most inspiring? Let us know in the comments below. We will continue to bring you these strange and fascinating stories to you on our channel.